Amanda Turkle, senior political editor and politics managing editor at the Huffington Post. Sarah Cliff, senior editor at Vox Media. Good to see both of you. And, and Amanda, let me start with you and pick up on what Barbara Boxer had to say, which is an argument, a political one, in addition to a legal one, that we have been hearing for some time about this being an attack on women. And how, how will this play, do you think, into the overall political discussion as opposed to the legal one? Well, I think that, I mean, the Supreme Court um, under Chief Justice John Roberts has been incredibly friendly to businesses, pretty much more friendly to businesses since any court since World War II. And this has really energized, I think, a lot, of, a lot of Democrats and a lot of progressives who find it important that, you know, in 2016 that the presidency stay in Democratic hands, that there's a Senate there and, you know, more members in the House to sort of ward against some of the, to pass legislation um, in case that there is this Supreme Court there that is very conservative. And so I think that it could really energize Democrats if the Roberts Court finds in favor of Hobby Lobby, because as the senator was saying, this could be a slippery slope to uh, uh, more attacks on LGBT rights, uh, more attacks on women's rights. And I think that possibility and the possibility that there could be more this corporate personhood where corporations have all these religious rights under the First Amendment really scares a lot of progressives. Yeah, is this something that you see, Sarah, is energizing progressives? And, and exactly to Amanda's point, uh, you know, the concern is if you're going to talk about the slippery slope, the next thing becomes that if you're gay and you're going to have a wedding, then a florist or a caterer can say no because my religious beliefs allow me not, not to serve you. I think this really has energized women's groups and one of the things that's really been striking throughout this whole debate is that the Obama administration has really defended this birth control mandate under intense political criticism. They stuck with the idea that all forms of contraceptives should be available to women without any charge and you know that's landed them and their signature domestic policy achievement back in the Supreme Court for a second time in a case I don't know that they expected to get this much traction behind it so I think you really do see an outpouring of interest from women's rights groups you see it at the Supreme Court this morning you've seen it in the you know briefs they have filed and the comments they've submitted I, I think this really is a moment that's rallying folks and it makes sense while abortion is very controversial birth control tends to enjoy pretty widespread support most people do support access to birth control on both sides of the political spectrum so it makes sense that this is something that you're really seeing a lot of momentum building around and a lot of people really caring about Amanda Turkle Sarah Cliff thanks to both of you for coming on Thank you. once again searchers find themselves in a race against the